Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's a little cute podcast. It's not too long. Well, dude, fucking football season started, dude. Fucking NFL, dude. Thursday night NFL. We got the return of champions. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers with fucking Tom Brady versus the Dallas Cowboys. The most expensive sports franchise in the world. They're worth $170,000 billion. The fucking Cowboys, Mount America's team. There's nothing more American than watching the Dallas Cowboys play football. You know, you got some immigrants coming over here from, from Asia, you know. They're coming over here from Eastern Europe, you know. They're coming over here from Latin America. They're like, how do I become American? Do I need to eat a hot dog? I'm like, yeah, you, got, you need to eat a goddamn hot dog. You need to eat, watch fucking football, Dallas Cowboys, all right? You want to be American? You want to be, you, you, change, that, change that hot dog to a corn dog. You better make it a corn dog. Get it with some deep fried butter at the at the state fair. Fucking gain a hundred pounds. You're American now. You need to gain a hundred pounds. Go on and get to fucking unemployment. Get that. Get that. Anyway, uh, just watch some football over here. Watch a little football, a little opening game, a little opening game football. The fucking Tom Brady, goddamn Tom Brady. Thinks he's so fucking cool. As I said it before, fucking Tom Brady thinks he's better than he thinks he's better than everyone. Well, you think you're better than me, Tom Brady? What, just because you're better looking, you're a better athlete, you got more money, you're married to a beautiful woman, you got a beautiful family, you got a great fucking life, you think you're better than me? You're not better than me. Nobody's better than me. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, these guys, <laughs> these announcer guys are like, like, yeah, this Tom Brady is 44 years old, you know, he's... He's got to get. He's got to get rid of that ball. You know he don't want to get hit. He's old man. He's forty four years old now. You know in the off season he's been taking lots of steroids. You know because they they only test them once, like right before the season starts. You know so right after off season they can take a few more cycles. You know they got to do that because he's fucking forty four four years old. He's still playing the NFL. He's married to Giselle Bunch and they just have sex all night and they just make some genetically superior DNA babies. And Tom fucking Tom Brady, you know, he don't he doesn't eat the nightshades, that's why he doesn't like the inflammation, you know. That's what happens, you get some inflammation, you can't play NFL football anymore, but that's what the steroids are for, you know, Tom Brady every night. He's like, Oh god, give me some goddamn steroids, but make sure there's no tomatoes and bell peppers in there because they cause inflammation now anyway. Where's my where's my German wife to sell bunch and she makes more money than me, even though I'm fucking Tom Brady, you know, and, uh, Touchdown, you know, that's basically what the announcers the announcers are saying over here, you know. And, uh, yeah, the, the fucking ESPN, they're running these same three commercials. Like, every fucking, every fucking commercial is the exact same fucking thing. You know, the, first they're trying to promote, like, other sports, you know? Like, they got this one, it's like, dude, the cricket playoffs, dude, fucking England versus India. It's like, okay, well, like I said before, we're fucking Americans, okay? We're watching the Dallas Cowboys. We sure as fuck don't, we don't give a fuck about cricket, okay? Most Americans don't, they don't care about baseball. No one's gonna give a fuck about cricket. England versus India? No, fucking American people don't even know where India is. All right? No, yeah, they're not gonna play. But no one cares. Fucking cricket. You know, as uh, Raphael said in the great, in the great nineteen ninety Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when he's fighting Casey Jones. He's like cricket. Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crop it is before you understand cricket. Casey Jones says, "I'll teach you." Six runs. What are you, some sort of punker? I hate punkers, especially bald ones with green makeup who wear masks over ugly faces. Uh, that was a great movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, yeah, they got, they got, they're, they're showing those commercials, you know, and they got like this, this like lit girl hip hop song. She's like, dabba 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 same goddamn melody over and over, talking about cricket and then fucking and then fucking baseball, dude. And they're showing like the Yankees versus Mets series coming up, and they show all these like super super thick accent New York people like the fucking Yankees, bro. The fucking Subway series. It's the Subway series. Fucking, it's the battle for New York. You a Mets fan? You a Yankees fan? Fucking no one cares about baseball, you know? I mean, people that people that do like baseball, they only like their home team, you know? That's why no one watches the World Series. Because their home team is not in it. No one cares. Nobody cares. Oh, fucking Tom Brady just threw a touchdown, man. He just threw another goddamn touchdown. 44 years old. He's throwing three touchdowns. Throws it to Gronk. I can't believe Gronk's still playing, too. 
This is an old man team. Well, they, uh, fucking Ed Asner just died. I think Ed Asner probably could have played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers if he hadn't died. Probably could have played. Could have been a defensive tackle or something, you know? Ed Asner, dude. Bulking up. Yeah, they, they got this other commercial. This other hip-hop guy, you know? He's singing the typical hip-hop song. I don't know if you guys ever listen to any hip-hop songs, but basically every hip-hop song is about how the... The rapper, you know, had a had a hard life growing up and got no respect and no one helped him and then he achieved anyway. You know, and then, like the cops tried to arrest his brother or something. And like people everyone was everyone was hating on him, you know? But look at him now. Look at me now, I'm fucking rich, dude. Got a fucking mansion, dude. I'm fucking hip hop dude. I'm the fucking shit, bro. Fucking hip hop dude, I'm the fucking shit, dude. Started from the bottom. Nobody give me any respect. I had no friends. All my all my friends they got arrested by the racist white cops. They're in jail. So I started doing the hip hop, and then I got some money. But nobody still give me no respect. Even though I'm a famous hip hop artist now, I still don't get no respect. And I go on the TV and I show people all my money, but I get no respect. And everybody got double double D. You know that's basically. Every hip hop song. That's basically this this song they keep playing. This song they keep playing. Oh, anyway, uh, let's see what else is going on here. You know, I'm just in, uh, I'm still in Kyoto. Still in Kyoto one more day. You know, uh, tried to do some sightseeing the other day. You know, went to the uh, Nijo Castle, but it was closed. You know, even though it's outside, uh, they closed it because of Corona. They're like, oh no, Corona. Gotta stop the COVID. We gotta close this outside, this castle that's outside. Nobody can go inside because if you go inside, the fucking emperor might get COVID. It's like, and I fucking took the bus over there, you know. I'm at Kyoto Station waiting for the bus. You know my Google, my Google says my Google Maps. It says take, take bus number fifty. You know, bus number nine comes up, and then bus number nine, like on the back of it, it says it's going to Nijo Castle. I'm like, what? What's going on here? Where's what about bus number fifty? You know. And then this old lady, like, I'm just standing there. She's like, are you going to take, are you going to take, she's waiting for bus 50. She's like, are you going to take bus number nine? And I'm like, nope, taking bus number 50. She's like, oh, okay, you know. And then I look at my phone again. And then I look at the bus again. And I'm like, fuck this, I'm not waiting for bus number 50. I'm taking bus number nine, you know. So then right after I tell that old lady that I'm taking bus number 50, I just get on bus number nine, you know. Later, lady. Later, old lady. You know, and then I uh, get off the bus there. I'm the only person that gets off at that stop at the castle, you know? All the all the, all the old Japanese people, they're all watching me get off the bus there, you know? They're probably thinking, doesn't he know the? Doesn't he know it's closed because of COVID? Even though it's outside, you know, and then I get off the bus there. It's fucking closed. I'm just like, oh, God damn it. God damn it, the fucking Google said it was open. The goddamn Google said it was open. You know, so anyway, then I uh, walked around, went to, went to some other areas, you know, I went to this one area called Gion, which is, like, supposed to have all these shops, and, like, a lot of people dress up, like, in traditional uh, kimonos, you know, the Japanese kimonos, you know, but everything was closed, because uh, COVID, you know, even though it's outside, it's just a street outside, all the shops are closed. Uh, okay, dude, and then I, w- I wanted to go to this place called uh, Rashi Mountain, where they have this, they have this, like, monkey, monkey park, you know. You can see the all these monkeys. You try to they try to steal your camera, you know? All the goddamn monkeys. And uh you know those monkeys they probably start from the bottom too, you know? Like start from the bottom, living in the bamboo forest, try to try to survive by stealing cameras, selling them on the black market so I can get some crackers. Cause I'm just a fucking monkey, you know. And uh before I started my hip hop career, the orangutans get all the respect. Gorillas get all the respect, but I'm just a macabre monkey. I don't get no respect. Start from the bottom. Steal some fucking cameras. Steal your phone. Throw it in the river, because I'm a monkey. I don't know how technology works. Get no respect, you know. Uh, I wanted to go see that. I wanted to go see the monkeys, you know. The fucking uh, macaw. Macaw? Are they? Is that what they're called? Macaque? I don't know. Some, I, mean, I think that's the bird. But uh, anyway, you know. The monkey, the monkey, the monkey park on top of the on top of the mountain that was closed too. Can't go there. 
Sorry, I got the COVID, you know, even though it's outside. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of fucking monkeys sitting outside. Can't go there. It's closed. It's closed because of the COVID. You know, so, uh, my sightseeing, uh, my sightseeing adventures got kind of, um, derailed. Derailed over here. And, uh, and then there was one more place I wanted to go called, uh, Kudama Mountain. You know, they got like this... You know, I don't know if you I don't know if you know Tengu. Tengu is like that big red face with a long nose. I don't know if you ever seen that before. Like it's a popular like Japanese mask. It's called a Tengu mask. It's like a red, red face. They got like this big Tengu statue over there on uh, Kurama Mountain. You know, got some good views of Kyoto. You know, but uh, a couple weeks ago it was raining real hard and there was some landslides, so the tr the train stopped. There was no trains going on there. It's like, dude, what the fuck, dude? Goddamn, everything's closed because COVID and the fucking. I can't go to the hiking mountain because the goddamn landslide. You know, so anyway, uh, just some bad, some bad luck there. Just a little bit of bad luck. Just a little bit of bad luck. A little bit of bad luck. I got a little bit of bad luck. No one give me no respect. I got a little bit of bad luck. Everything closed because of COVID. Can't go to the mountain because the landslide. Got no bad. I got bad luck. Give me no respect. I get no respect from God. He's supposed to make it every day close. Started from the bottom. You know, uh, so, uh, that's not, of course, I am, uh, I'm planning to go to Universal Studios Japan on Sunday. It's not closed, but, uh, they only have like half capacity, which is pretty cool, you know? It's kind of cool. You get to go to, you don't have to wait, don't have to wait so long, you know, because they got the half capacity there. They got the half capacity there. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll always love you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm on my, uh, third cup of koofies right now, so, uh, kind of, kind of hopped up excited. Kind of hopped up excited. Man, I, you know, recently I've been, I've been noticing, I just get, I get so fucking tired, like, in the afternoon, like, four or five o'clock, I'm just like, oh, God, I gotta take a nap, you know? And then, like, 10 p.m. when I'm, 10, 11 p.m. when I'm getting ready to go to Betty Boopers, I'm just like, I'm wide awake! I'm ready to run a marathon. It's pretty fucking annoying, you know? It's pretty annoying. It's pretty goddamn annoying, you know? <sighs> anyway, should we, should we talk about the markets? Should we talk about the, about the gold markets, you know? You know, of course, on Friday, the, uh, the uh, jobs numbers missed, and uh, gold, gold went up to uh, a whole 1830. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Went up, tw went up twenty dollars, even though it should have gone up ten thousand know? dollars. Uh, then, of course, this week it just uh, you know, like on Tuesday there was a, or on Monday over over there in China, some some hedge fund, some real big hedge fund was collapsing or something like that. So I think that affected the entire market. So the entire market was going down, like on Monday, Tuesday, even though Monday was a holiday in America. You know, it kind of reflected that on Tuesday. And then uh, gold and silver took a giant diary dump on Tuesday for basically no reason at all. I mean, nothing it doesn't really make any sense. Then, uh, then of course, uh, the other day, uh, the the ECB, the European Central Bank, they they said they're they said they're not going to buy as many bonds anymore. You know, they're going to buy slightly less. Like I think they're buying like eighty billion, eighty billion euros a month, and they're going to go to like seventy five billion. You know, in the press release, they're, they're like, "This isn't tapering. We're just re we're just readjusting. We're it's not it's not tapering though. We're just maybe we're seeing what's going to happen here. You know." We're seeing what's gonna happen here. This is what happens, Larry. You know, they're so afraid to say that word taper, you know, because the markets are just gonna take a giant diarrhea dump if if any central bank just says that word tapering. It's uh, it's uh, it's pretty fucking stupid, you know. That they're afraid to say words. <laughs> People think they're actually gonna do tapering when when they're they're, they're literally afraid to just say the word. Oh, God. Oh, this is the world we're living in. Oh, this is the world we're living in. Oh. And, of course, today there was a big there was a big PlayStation event. I had I haven't watched the trailers yet. A lot, of, a lot of new games got released. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that on the next podcast, you know? I'll do that on the next podcast. It'll be the video game podcast. Little kitty video games. I don't even own a PlayStation 5. I just watch... I just like to watch trailers for PlayStation 5 games, you know, that I'll never, that I'll never buy, you know. I'm going to wait for the PS5 Pro, you know. I heard it's going to coming out. I heard it's coming out in 2024. 
It's only three more years. I think I'll just wait for that one. I think I'll just wait for that one. I think I'll just wait for that one. Swing a sword. If not, I'll wait. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.